Welcome back, friends. In our last video, we demonstrated our Claymore Roomba, one of our many ongoing experiments that we do here at Ordnance Lab. This one being part of our 3D printed Claymore project. We tested out a new explosive we developed that detonated perfectly. Unfortunately, the steel shot was not properly projected as desired. We reviewed the drone video and slowed it down here to demonstrate. We saw that the projectiles were tossed heavily to the right and downward. The proper pattern should be a relatively uniform arc and not downward into the ground. We packed another claymore in a similar manner but used the same plastic explosive used in the factory claymore to do another test. All right, welcome to a bonus round of Ordnance Lab. Yesterday we set off the Roomba Boomba and we were kind of disappointed by the results that it didn't hit uh, in all the places on there. It didn't cause like catastrophic, catastrophic damage. Now that's because a claymore isn't necessarily designed to send out like an even wave of um, of ball bearings. Of course, if someone would love to have one of those really high speed, low drag, slow mo cameras, we'd love to set off a claymore for that. But um, it's something to throw a bunch of stuff out there and hope that so you hit something. And also you have the blast to cause disorientation. Because you typically, of course, use a claymore for either um, uh, kicking off an ambush or also for your defensive whenever, this is, uh, excuse me, defensive positions whenever Charlie's coming in the wire. But to make sure that we don't disappoint folks with our video, what we're going to do is we're going to use one of our real claymores that we have packed up here with um, plastic explosives. And this is the one that we keep typically for whenever we're going to be doing for hire testing or whatever. Um, but again, we didn't want to have y'all coming away from this video thinking that it sucked because we used one of uh, the explosives that we're trying and want to make sure that we wipe these things out. So what we're going to do and also, I forgot to bring the stakes to stick it in, so we're going to put it here on this T-post. And we have our... Oh, hey, she's still volunteering. She wants to have a good time. We've got them behind us here about 10 meters away, so we'll initiate the claymore. That'll take them out pretty good, and um, we'll see the difference. Maybe we get a better pattern. Maybe it just totally crushes them. Maybe it does the same thing, but now we have a bit of a control measure from what we did the first type of explosives that is about the same explosive factor as... Um, plastic explosives, but we'll try it with a more clone correct one. So let's blow some stuff up. Uh, just another day at the office here at Ordnance Lab. Clack, clack, go to Gat. Yeah. Well, that was one hell of a blast. We were able to hear part, the top part of that T-post go pew, flying off into the sunset. It's probably a threat right now, the International Space Station. So coming over here, looking at the uh, the dummies, we got quite a few hits on here. He took rounds just all in there. Oh man, I just sharped the dude on accident. Um, we got uh, hits all up and down in here and you can hear some of the, uh, the BBs going around in there that wasn't there yesterday. Let's get it turn around here. So, oh man, he took some right there in the ass as I grab his ass. Man, he's got firm ass, that right there. Oh, Cody, you were talking about getting your ass worked on. This is what you can do right here. He's got the example for others to follow. So we've got some penetration where it came in here and it went in through the, um, the front part and then didn't go all the way out the back. Now, whether that's a good simulation comparing flesh to something like this, we don't know. And that's where we'll be doing some more research and development on that. But um, it definitely caused damage to him, but um, it's not a really even pattern. Now, um, whether that right there is due to the way that we have it packed in there, I don't know. That's what more research is for. Let's check out our senorita over here that, oh man, I just sharped her. Um, so we were definitely getting rid of some witnesses here. Looking at her, that um, we got a few little marks in there, but I'm not seeing too much. Oh, well, um, I can't get her to turn around, but we only have one additional puncture from uh, that wasn't here before. So we had one guy here take a hell of a lot of rounds and uh, balls while she took hardly any balls. <laughs> uh, anyways, back to the lecture at hand. Um, she didn't take much. So whether that right there is due to it not having a backing or to the way that we packed it, we're gonna have to do some more research on that um, to see what happens. But we can see that there really wasn't much of a difference between the explosives that Jake used and then the factory correct plastic explosives. But we'll do some more research on that, get a couple of more loads going and see what happens. So 
Hopefully y'all found this video interesting. We always try to make sure that we make a video when you watch it, you're not like, oh, that's all. So like we went and blew up a, uh, about another hundred something pounds of plastic explosives for this video to make sure that it didn't suck. And um, so if y'all can help us on our Patreon account to help cover those kind of bills, we would really appreciate it. Please make sure to subscribe. Also, if you're a company that needs to do any kind of research and development on explosives, explosives weapons, things like that, we'd love to work with y'all. So please hit us up at info at ordnance-lab.com and we'll see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more, and stay tuned for another episode here at Ordnance Lab.